Hello, Strong Bones friends. I'm Susanna. This is my loyal assistant, Ellie, and we're here to take you through the daily five, the five exercises and some of their variations that I recommend and included in my ebook, The Four Weeks, Four Weeks to Stronger Bones Challenge. So if you're interested in joining this challenge, you can start anytime. Just stick around to the end of this video and I'll offer you um, a link to how you can get more information about that program. But let's just jump right in because the main point of this program is to do these five exercises or the variations that work for you every day or on a, on a schedule that is supportive for you. All right, let's get started with tree pose. So begin standing on two feet in your mountain. You're gonna press up through your crown at the same time as you root down in your feet and really feel that connection in your standing position with really great posture. And now notice I have a chair here. This is optional if you would like uh, some support, if balance is a concern. Absolutely have a chair or a wall or a counter nearby. So rooting down in two feet, let's come to standing on your right leg and lighten up on the left. Now, as you press down on your right foot, feel the tripod of your foot, press, engage the hip of this leg at the same time as you rotate, externally rotate your leg out to the left. So this is your right leg pressing down, your right hip and glute beginning to engage to bring you to center. And the first posture is shrub. We can all do shrub. Uh, we have our toes on the floor, heel right to the edge of your uh, shin there, or your ankle. And now there you are, shrub. First level of tree pose. You might reach your arms up, might make cactus arms, relax the shoulders and draw the shoulder blades together slightly and find your balance here. Excellent. So we're gonna do shrub on the other side before we do other variations of trees. So put your foot down, step it out a little bit. And now once again, root down, this time rooting down in your left leg, engage your hip, press down at the same time as you press up rotate your hip out to the side. Have your heel touch the side of your ankle and your toes are on the floor. What you want to be thinking about here is your beautiful posture and your balance. Finding breath, maybe your arms will move a little bit. You can reach up, hold, and when you feel ready to release, Rotate the knee back to forward and two feet down. Excellent, so that's your shrub. We'll move on up as is, uh, will work for you. So again, we'll start with the standing leg to be your right, press down, engage your hip. Now this time you'll lift the leg up to 90 degrees and you might even pause right here. This is what I call crane pose. So this is a great balancing position. But now if you'd like, you can rotate out to the side and then bring your foot somewhere on your leg. Now this is once again where you'll want to engage your hip and your glute and find balance. Again, a chair nearby could be of service if you like. Now holding here, doesn't matter where on the side of your leg your foot has landed, lift your arms overhead, any position that feels good today. You can swap out different positions on different days and find your breath. Find your focus. We suggest that you focus on a spot and breathe. Excellent. After 30 seconds to a minute, <laughs> you can release down, hands on your hips or hold on to your support. Rotate your knee back forward and bring that foot to the earth. Go ahead and step it out. Prepare for the other side. Root down, lift up, root down. At the same time, press up through your crown. So chin back a little bit, 
chest feels open. I'm starting in this crane position, which is the bent knee forward. Now rotate out to the side, squeeze the hip of the standing leg, and then where will your foot land? Great. Once you've found that position, locate your breath, reach your arms overhead to your desired position here, and hold. You're really building strength in the standing leg. At the same time, of course, challenging your balance, so important. Give yourself a good challenge. Maybe 30 seconds to a minute is what I recommend. Hands release down, rotate the knee forward, and bring your foot back down to the earth. Great. That's your tree. All right, next up, heel bounces. An amazing way to, in a very short period of time, provide some actual impact to stimulate your hip bones. Just a little caution, if you're new to this, you want to start slow. You don't need to do as many as I do, uh, especially barefoot, and you might consider wearing sneakers to give extra cushioning. Um, as you progress and build up the strength in your feet and your muscles and your joints. Uh, so that's if you're new to it, but I'm just gonna offer uh, that we do 15 together now. Uh, so you can uh, find your way to standing two feet parallel, root down, allow your tailbone to drop slightly and draw your navel in. So you've got that really good posture, open chest, shoulders relaxed. Again, a support nearby is totally fine. You can even hold on to do heel bounces. Um, sometimes I hold on to the front of my uh, bathroom sink when I do heel bounces. So support is always fine. So are you ready? We're gonna come up on our tippy toes and come down with a bounce. Take a deep breath in and lift it up and down. Let's do 15, so that was one, two, three, four, five, Six, keep your legs straight, seven, eight, nine, ten, a little squeeze in the butt, that's eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 14, 15, excellent, and I love to end with a tippy toe tadasan. So this is a strengthening move for your feet and a balance challenge. Tippy toe tadasan or tiptoe mountain pose. Hold, hold, hold up on your toes. Breathing and your choice if you want to come down with a bounce or a slow move. Ready? And down. Good. And step it out. And remember, if heel bounces are not appropriate for you for any reason, um, you can do calf raises instead. I love to hold on for calf raises and then just go really slow. All of us can do calf raises because they are excellent for strengthening your calves and go slow down and your feet and down. So calf raises are an excellent exercise as well. Okay, so after we've done our heel bounces, the next exercise in our daily five is sit to stands. So got my chair right here. So sit to stands are so simple and yet so essential for core strength and also as we age. In my view, we should be doing sit to stands consciously every day for pretty much the rest of our lives. So I find it very inspiring, as simple as it may seem. So coming to your seat, I've got good posture, notice. So start with good posture, that's important. With your, uh, jut your chin back a little bit, have your chest be slightly open, your shoulders relaxed, and no slumping. <laughs> and then with your feet on the floor, we're gonna lift up and do 10 together, okay? Ready, take a breath in and lift up, and that's one. Squeeze your butt when you stand and sit back down, that's one and two, three. And you can make this more interesting with some arm positions. You could be holding some weights if you wanted. That was five or six, <laughs> seven, eight, 
nine, and 10. Okay, obviously, as you do your challenge, you can do a lot more than 10 if you'd like, uh, or you can also make it more challenging, or in addition to your regular normal sit to stands in a chair, you may uh, do actual squats. So here's a squat for you. There are many variations. Find one that works for you, but what I like to do is bring my feet a little wider than my hips, slight angling out. You can see my side posture here. Okay, so we're going to squat for 10. So take a deep breath in. I'm bringing hands to a prayer in front of the heart. Take a breath and sit. Good, and up, squeeze. So sit down deep and lift up and squeeze. That was two and three. Keep your crown lifted, four, five. Really work the leg muscles and your butt muscles. Always squeeze up. And I, I'm really bad at counting, my friends, so you need to count for yourselves. <laughs> but let's keep going. So let's say that was seven and eight and nine and 10. Great. And release your arms. Step it out. You can always up level this. You can hold weights. Uh, you can do a yoga squat, which is Utkatasana. I love to add that in just as a little um, bonus. <laughs> so for Utkatasana, your feet are hip width apart, shoulders are relaxed, starting in that Tadasana. And take a breath in, bring your arms up, overhead, then hips behind you, hinging at your hips, and then sit back down. Utkatasana is chair pose yoga squat. You can bring your arms into cactus pose, which is a great variation. Draw the shoulder blades together here gently and hold. Weight is in your heels. Go down a little deeper if that works for you. Good. Inhale and exhale. And then push off the earth to stand up, stretch and release. Good. So that was a bonus, which I didn't put in the book, but you can do. Next, we're going to be going down to the floor for just two more exercises. We're going to take ourselves down to the mat for locust pose, a spine strengthening, chest opening, hip strengthening, back bend. Now, if you'd like extra cushioning underneath you, you'll have to grab a blanket. My blanket's underneath my dog, so I'm going to do it right on my yoga mat. So go ahead and come onto your belly and begin here. Adjust yourself so you're comfortable and with your um, top of your feet point on the floor. Chin is on the floor or you're looking down, but don't squash your nose. And then roll your shoulders a few times so you can find your shoulder blades there in a relaxed way. So bring the shoulders towards your ears and then back and away. Good. So next up, I'd like to uh, activate each leg individually to start. So engage your right hip and slowly lift your right leg up a couple of inches and lengthen through that right leg with a lot of activation in the hip. And then inhale, exhale, lower it down. Then do it on the other side as you engage your left hip, left glute, lift up that left leg and stretch through it and lift and lower. So do that again on each side and you're not going up very high. It's about lengthening and lowering. And now that you've done a little warm up for your legs, we'll lift the chest. So inhale, lift up the chest and lift up your arms and your head came along for the ride. Take a breath and lower down. So this is a warm up. We're going to do that again. Inhale, lift up chest, arms, and exhale it down. Do it one more time, lifting chest, arms, and now optional, lift your legs. And there you are. Let your head, neck, jaw, face relax as you feel length from crown, tailbone to toes, and shoulders through your fingertips. Find your breath. Holding Shalambhasana, or locust pose in yoga, we call it. Inhale, exhale. 
Breathe, okay, and now slowly release. And take a moment, we're gonna do another variation. So take a moment in crocodile pose, bring your arms in front of you, stack your hands, rest your forehead on your stacked hands and take a moment. It's a lot of work doing locust pose. So now here's a variation for you that's great to do. And I have to adjust myself, I've got uh, a wall in the way. Okay, so here you're gonna bring your arms out uh, in front of you and then bring them in, uh, bring them out like a V or a W if you will, and bring the elbows into your rib cage. We'll do that while in the pose. So now the arms are now bent beside you. Lift your chest, lift the arms, lift your legs, and now extend out in that V and pull back elbows into your rib cage. And you may go forward and back with the arms several times. So this is an advanced variation, holding it and breathing, holding and breathing. Good, and then hold. Elbows into the rib cage, lift the legs, breathe, relax. Curl your toes, place your hands by your chest, and push yourself back into a counter pose, perhaps an extended child's or a puppy stretch. And find breath here. Beautiful. And now we're almost done. So go ahead and come onto your back. Use your Abdominal muscles, drop your chin slightly, protect your neck, and come on down. Once you're on the floor, you'll bend your knees, plant both feet on the floor, about hip width apart, with your heels underneath your knees and your arms beside you. And before we do actual bridge, I'd love for you to squeeze your butt and release it. So do some pelvic tilts. Lift the tailbone and then drop it. Press your lower back into the floor and release. This is a really great exercise to do every day. Okay, and then pause. All right, for your basic bridge pose, you press down into the feet, your arms are beside you, your neck is uh, relaxed, you might roll your head a little bit side to side and then come to stillness, and go ahead and lift your hips up off the floor. Lift them up. You've got now a a straight line from your knees to your hips to your shoulders and engage your inner thighs. Imagine, if you will, a beach ball and you're squeezing it. You're squeezing your inner thighs together. You're gently squeezing your glutes as well. And now breathe. Hold and breathe. Hold and breathe. Rooting down but rising up through the hips but your chest is relaxed, neck, jaw, face relaxed. Remember what we say, a bridge a day keeps uh, bone loss at bay. <laughs> Take a breath in and then find your way, your spine back down to the earth. Once you've relaxed back down, you get to choose what would work as a counter pose for you. Maybe you'll pick up your feet, hug your knees in, Maybe you'll take your feet a bit wider and windshield wiper your knees side to side. It's an option. All right, while well, I've got you here, we'll do a variation that's a little more advanced. So that is a one-legged bridge. Bring your feet, so if you're not up for that, just do another regular bridge. So your choice, rooting down two feet. Lifting your hips up off the floor. Now this time we'll keep one foot down. Let's say it's your left foot and bring your right knee in. And then extend your right leg to the sky. Stretch it. Try to keep your pelvis level. Rooting down on the foot on the floor, pushing up through your hip bone and your foot that's extended up. Good, you can hold this a few breaths and then bend the knee to return that foot to the floor and do the other side. Squeeze your glutes, lift the bent knee in, and then extend the leg straight up. Straighten that leg. Push down on the floor, on the foot on the floor. Push up 
through the foot that's extended. Breathe, 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 breathe. <laughs> Glutes are engaged. Hold it for a couple more breaths. You can bend the knee in and plant the foot down. Root down again, because you've probably lost a little height in the hip bones to push back up for a few more moments. In your bridge, engage your glutes. And when you feel complete, lower your spine, lower your hips, and release. Perhaps this time you'll pick up your feet and rock your lower back side to side. Okay, folks, this is your practice. I encourage you to safely, gently, carefully find your way out of that lying down position. You might have ended with um, some restorative position like uh, a legs up or a twist. So there's so many options, but that's it. You did it. I'm so proud of you. The daily five. And I just want to say that if you're doing these exercises as part of the challenge, the four weeks to strong bones challenge, you don't always have to do them in this sequence. Now it's great if you do, go ahead, put on the video, watch it again every day. It checks all the boxes, but some days you might mix it up. For example, you can do tree pose in the morning, sit to stands at lunch. I do heel bounces throughout the course of my day. And I often find myself remembering to get to Logist and Bridge before bed. <laughs> it's never too late. And the idea is to make it work for you. And if you are looking for how to join the challenge, well, below this video is a link to my website. So strongboneschallenge.com. And at my website, you will find a place where you can order the ebook Strong uh, Four Weeks to Stronger Bones Challenge. And we'll be um, sharing our progress in the Facebook group, the Strong Bones Challenge Facebook group. So if you're not a member of that, there's a link below the video to request to join, and we'd love to have you. So we are a community of supportive people who are working every day to increase our bone density, our muscle strength, and our overall health and having fun doing it. So I'm glad to uh, be a part of your Strong Bones journey. Namaste. Thank you.